like I'm having a conversation with one of my friends where I'm like, hey, I don't want to be the guy to say that I told you so, but I don't really have a choice here. People seem to genuinely be kind of upset at my take on Dr. Disrespect a couple days ago, which now this is the third video in the series. And I do apologize. It's just this kind of stuff. I mean, it's insane, right? And not like moist critical saying this situation is insane. Like this is actually some crazy stuff posted to Twitter. So if you haven't seen yet, well, let me bestow upon you probably the most jaw dropping and, and one of those things that it, it kind of hurts when you're right, you know, like when you tell yourself you probably shouldn't be talking to someone and then later on you find out they did something behind your back and it hurts even more because you told yourself you should have believed yourself in the first place. It's kind of like one of those things. So if you want me to stop blabbering and just get on with what I'm talking about, well, Dr. Disrespect, after all the drama, and I'll give you a brief little rundown of that, but first, Dr. Disrespect literally admitted to texting somebody underage. He admitted that he had inappropriate conversation with somebody that was underage. Now, if you aren't up to speed, let me just really quick catch you up. So, basically what happened is a former Twitch employee posted saying Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch four years ago for sexting a minor. Of course, the internet vetted this guy and found some fishy stuff about him. For example, the only reason that he released that Dr. Disrespect was actually banned for this was because he got concert tickets to sell. But on the flip side, Dr. Disrespect never publicly denied the accusations, not even once. Here, he even put this video just over 24 hours ago saying this. For those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend, not gonna. I already said what I needed to say. I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. So I do appreciate the donations. I do appreciate the messages, but I like to put it in the fifth gear right off the rip. So to all the whole internet, we had a very mixed jar and some people that were very mad at me because I said, Dr. Disrespect seems very fishy here. While at the same time, I even admitted that this Cody guy who originally tweeted also seemed very fishy. So it was one of those classic, like who done it? One of those, like the greatest mysteries of the known universe. We have no idea, but now, and of course it, it, it pains me in the heart, not really to say that I was seemingly correct. I made the assumption that both of them have something suspicious going on. And we already could prove that Cody had something suspicious going on as he already tried backtracking it but now we have written proof of dr disrespect's guilt let's just let's just dive right into the tweet the twitch ban hello i'd like to make a quick statement let's cut the fucking bullshit as you guys know there's no filter with me i've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that i can be upfront about and i'm always willing to accept responsibility which is why i'm here now first and foremost i do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me my team and everyone at midnight society game studio a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with midnight society and i and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I'd never want to jeopardize that culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whispers with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind those messages? The answer is absolutely not. They were casual mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate but nothing more nothing illegal happened no pictures were shared no crimes were committed I never even met the individual I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement let me be clear it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me now from a moral standpoint I'll absolutely take responsibility I should have never entertained those conversations to begin with that's on me that's on me as an adult a husband and a father it should have never happened I get it I'm not perfect and I'll fuck Fucking oh my shit. This was stupid. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made the mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear? Yeah, fucking right. Okay, so here we just have blatant um, um, admittance of uh, texting or inappropriately texting a minor. Dr. Disrespect, you need, to, you need to take a seat, please. Why don't you have a seat? I just need to get home. I'm not doing the show. Go ahead and take a seat. But I'm not gonna do this. Take a seat right over there. Like the fact that anyone on planet Earth could even even remotely try to defend this after this point. Yeah, I understand people not liking my videos the last couple of days because I didn't have proof that he did anything, nor did I have proof that he didn't do anything, right? That's what I even said. But now, in his own writing, on his own tweet, which I just want to point out, this tweet was edited. He originally edited the word minor out and said that, oh, I was talking to somebody on Twitch Whispers, but then he edited it back because he realized people could see his edits that he wrote toward minor. I mean, 
this is just ludicrous. It's it's insane that people even now are trying to defend him after he has admitted in a tweet that he has had inappropriate conversations with a minor. Now, the full tweet is going to be down in the description. I just didn't want to drone on about all of the middle stuff that he put in there trying to defend himself. But I mean, come on. This is him publicly admitting he had inappropriate conversations with a minor. He never said, I didn't know she was underage. He never even said, I found out she was underage after talking to her and blocked her. No, Dr. Disrespect knew that she was a minor. Like, I genuinely would like to meet the person that thinks th th that this is any kind of forgivable. I mean, I think this deserves the same EDP cupcake love of him, you know, having to do DoorDash now because uh, of what he did trying to go meet up with a girl to give a cupcake. You know, I guess at the very base, you can argue, oh, it was just texting. He never met anybody. He never even offered to meet anybody. But let me just put this out in, in, into the stratosphere, right? The original tweet that Cody made said that he planned to go meet with a minor. Not only text them, he wanted to meet with them. And so far, the which we haven't been able to see the whispers. They've never been shared publicly, unfortunately. But so far, everything Cody said seems to be the truth. So how do we know that Dr. Disrespect never actually tried to meet with them? Again, I'm not saying he did. I'm saying, I mean, it was the accusation in the first place. The first half of the accusation turned out to be correct. You tell me. But I mean, at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, viewer, I want you to think about this. Dr. Disrespect was accused of sexting a minor. He publicly admitted that he had conversations that leaned inappropriate with a minor. With a minor. With a minor. Somebody, somebody call Kenneth <clears throat> Lamar. Editing minor in and out of the statement is wild. Were there real intentions behind these messages? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but there's no butt needed, bro. We get it. Oh my god. So in contrast, at least Nick Merckx, who, if you remember my video from a couple days ago, actually had a response saying to basically be patient. I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? As far as the leave the little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Well, at least he's holding true to his consistency and he posted this. Yo, yo, checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter and uh, I read through Doc's tweet. And in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that, you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's, that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable, right? Uh, there's no excuse for something like that. And, and I can't support it. Hang on, honey. Doing this, I'm talking to Twitter. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And uh, look, the boys and I are torn up over it too, man, because we played a lot of games with a guy and, and it feels a little weird, but... What can you do, you know? So I just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how I'm feeling. And uh, I mean, look, I, ho I, hope, I hope you guys have a good day, all right? I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. And um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally, and I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate, if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent, I cannot support that. I just want to let it sink in that, that Dr. D has a wife and kids. Well, a wife that he cheated on, I guess. But nonetheless, the more important one is he has kids. So, I don't know. Please let me let me know your thoughts down in the down in the comments. This is a crazy update. This will be the last time, well, most likely unless something insane happens, that I talk about Dr. Disrespect in this context for this situation. I hope he gets canceled. I really hope he gets banned off everything because he is a certified pedophile. Wop, 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 dot, fuck him up. If you don't mind, quick, I'm trying to hit 5k by the end of the year so please go down there tickle the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time